Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at level 50 Shadow Machamp with good IVs. I actually did have payback on it. I made it on community day for this uh, but I actually took it off because it's you know it's doing a lot of damage. I just need cross chop and rock slide. If I need payback so bad in the future I'll go ahead and use an elite charge TM again to get it back but I'm not really gonna see myself using that. All right, and of course we do have the level 50 Rosa Raid as well that we did get from, you know, all the community day grinding. So if you're wondering, how'd you get all the candies? Well, from that, Snorlax would be alongside them as well. If we, if we had enough, we would do it. Uh, so I am impressed. And also I want to point out the fact that I haven't really been talking about. And that is going to be, yes, we're going up against a lot of, specifically my last couple of Go Battle League videos. And that is going to be, Level 50, 100% IV, shiny Pokemon. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and start speculating how these people got these things during a battle or even afterwards. They're bringing it to go Battle League. On, you know, that's it. Simple as that. And that's pretty much as far as I'm going to go. Y yeah, you know, <laughs> it's going to be intense. Um, but anyways, with that said, Machamp was fantastic um, alongside Roserade. Now, here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing. I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. We were almost legend. We needed about four more battles. I'll show you my score in a little bit. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't upload a video yesterday. It, you know, one of the main ones was because I was cleaning and, you know, doing stuff with my son and fixing his room up and all that. Um, so I, you know, didn't really have too much time. But I kind of wanted to, like, wait and have this video like I hit legend. So what happened is we needed, like, about four more battles. And... We went 0-5. It was horrible. The <laughs> yeah, if you want to hear me talk about the algorithm more, go ahead and go over to Twitter. But yeah, I don't want to get into that. Basically, in a nutshell, uh, they're now trying to say that people don't want to play Go Battle League or I'm discouraging people to, to in, in their in their like fairy tale mind uh, because I'm saying that there's an algorithm. It's like anything I say, it's like, I, I can't please these people. It's it's so funny how they just revolve their little Twitter lives around me. Like, get a life, man. Anyways, we're going to be swapping into Machamp, into that Excadrill. Now, this is looking pretty good here. We're going to go ahead and go for this. And now you see why, you know, having payback is not the best. We're fine in this situation, but we could have been a lot better. And at this point, they back out because the Machamp looking pretty good here. So... I like this team. I really do. I think I'll keep using it. Actually, no, we'll switch it up. So don't expect it if you see me here. So we're going to be met with a Metagross, and they can take one of these Weather Balls, no problem. And then our Quick Moves just really not doing much damage. And uh, as a matter of fact, we can actually get off another one, and they can survive that, but they will be holding on to, like, barely any health here. So we're going to go ahead and shield up that Meteor Mash because, that you know, it's going to do a lot of damage to us. And they're letting that one go through as well. We're able to farm down. We are down a shield, but we are up on a ton of energy. They're going to be going in here with the Gyarados, and we're going to go ahead and throw that Sludge Bomb. So I, you know, the reason why I'm going with the Sludge Bomb is because we want a little bit more coverage for the Togekiss, like we've said. And it also hits everything pretty hard. It's very nice. Unless we're going up against a, I don't know, Swampert or something like that. Or maybe even a Garchomp. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go in here with the Machamp. I ah, know, it's, it's, it is what it is. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with the counter still. Well, a decent amount. And we can take them out. But they were able to get to another charge move here. Not looking fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and shield this up. Swap into our Snorlax. They're going to go ahead and go into Excadrill. And at this point, I'm just thinking, well, it's GG. If they don't shield this up, it's going to do a lot. If they shield it up, they're going to have no shields. And Machamp's going to be able to go in here and put in some work. So let's see, they're not going to be able to KO us here. It's going to do more damage than usual because we did lower our defense. And they're getting off their energy right away. This is fantastic because now we're going to be able to go in here with Machamp. Gain a little bit more energy here. And go for this cross chop onto the Excadrill. This is going to be able to take them out. In comes the Gyarados and this will take them out as well. It's not very effective, but they are so low. We do so much damage that taking the win there. Level 50, Shadow Machamp. Absolutely worth it. Having a lot of fun with this thing. And we're met with another Excadrill. Now, we whoosh, we were about to rank up. They just started throwing it at us, folks. I'm telling you, there was no coming back from some of these battles. Like, straight up. But uh, we'll carry on. We'll see what we can do.
All right, so they did swap into their Snorlax here, and we're going to go ahead and get off that cross chop and let this body slam go through, more than likely as yeah, body slam. You know, sometimes they might get off a superpower, which does more damage, so look out for that. They're bringing in their own Machamp. We're going to go ahead and go for that cross chop. This will do a lot of damage. They are shielding it up, and it is their own Shadow. As a matter of fact, it is going to be level 50 as well. Let me see. Yeah, looking like it. So we're going to go ahead and go for our Weather Ball just to do damage and try to get a shield, and looks like they didn't want to shield up because they do have that Excadrill back there, which is going to be taking a lot of damage from that Weather Ball. So we do have almost another one ready to go. We're going to go ahead and throw this on that Machamp. They are holding on to that shield, and here comes the Excadrill, and then we will be getting the shield out of them here. We're absolutely going to be shielding this up ourselves and going for this, and I expect that they're going to be shielding this too. There it goes, last shield, swapping into our Snorlax here, and basically... Yeah, they can't KO us, and as soon as we get to the superpower here, this will bring them down all the way. Yeah, looking good. Taking the win with the Snorlax. Fantastic. Moving it on to the next battle here. Let's see what we are met with this time. And it is a Mammal Swine. So, yeah, this is an interesting battle because we're both doing super effective damage to each other with our quick moves and both with the charge moves. My charge move is not going to KO, but its charge move, uh, Avalanche, I think the, at this point with, yeah. That's going to easily KO. I was looking at the health just go down by that powder snow. Unfortunately, this thing is a bit squishy. It is a bit squishy, even at level 50. They're going to be swapping and catching a weather ball on that Gyarados. Very, very nice. We are both down a shield, and we're going to go ahead and go in here with Snorlax and start hitting that body slam spam, and that lick damage is looking pretty nice as well. We're going to let this go through. They're hitting us with waterfall. Maybe it is an outrage. And there it is. It is an outrage. Should have known better because they do have Waterfall. More than likely, they will have that because they do not have that Dragon Coverage with a quick move. In comes the Machamp, and we're going to be trying to farm this thing down. We're not throwing any energy. And we're going to go ahead and take this, too. We're not going to be using that last shield. We need to hold on to that. Farming it down with Machamp. Fantastic. We need to be quick on our toes here because that Mammal Swine does have energy ready to go. They're coming in here with their Excadrill, so they have two Pokemon that are going to be weak to fighting and both... Uh, the Roserade's Weather Ball. So this is looking fantastic. Able to get to another one here. Shadow Machamp's going to be putting in some damage. Look at that damage. Taking them out before they can get off a charge boost. Swapping instantly into our Roserade. Getting to the Weather Ball here. And I'm getting a little nervous. I'm thinking that they're going to be able to KO. Let's see how this works out. And they have energy ready to go. And we're holding on to one shield down to the wire here. We're going to go ahead and shield this up, obviously. And the counter takes them out. And we don't even see it happen. Fantastic. Moving it on to the next battle here. And also, let's go ahead and talk about something really quick. I have a little story. Uh, my phone was at about, I don't know, 195 megabytes. Gigabytes, sorry. Gigabytes of used storage. And I was sitting at about 11 gigabytes free. And it was really weird because I had a lot of space. But, you know, as time goes on, you have all these images and I save songs and I save certain uh, like frames of uh, specific uh, backdrops so I can use them throughout videos and all these different things and taking pictures of my son and the dog and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And it started really accumulating and I really go through and I clear cache and I make sure I don't have a bunch of clutter. But there was a one file, a couple files that were just storing up all of my voice recordings. And we're talking like a year and a half, almost two years. Of voice voice recordings and um, random footage, random footage and random songs I would delete when I'm done with. And I found this file and funny enough, it was in a storage file that I always looked at. I just didn't scroll down an inch more and I saw it and it was very puzzling and I got nervous. So I deleted it. Well, oh, I, I should step back. I got nervous to delete it because I thought it'd delete beyond what I actually had because it was saying it was like so much space. It was about to free up here. We're talking about, I mean, we can go back to 45 minutes to an hour long videos like we did before. And if you were wondering what happened to those, that's why. My phone, I, I, I just was spacing it out. I just didn't realize it. Very weird. And it was to the point where this is why I took this action. I was really looking in my phone last night like, what the heck's going on here? Like every time I'm done with a video and, you know, I'm finished with it and I throw it out. The phone just seems to stay at where it's at for a space. It doesn't go down. So we're looking good anyways. <laughs> Maybe you want to clear out your phone. As far as the lag, I didn't receive any. I'm not going to say it was my phone because it was cluttered. Because <laughs> GBL is still full of lag. It just wasn't a laggy day for me. But it definitely does occur. Anyways, back into the commentary here. A little story time for you. 
Uh, so they're going to be taking us out there with that waterfall. We have one to one shield. What are we going to do? I think we want to go in here and farm down with Machamp. That is the play that I like to do. We could go in with Rosary, but it's not. I think they're going to be able to get to another charge move before we're actually able to take it down with that bullet seed because it's so weak. So they're going to be bringing in a Machamp. Now, I think this is the situation where I'm like, well, now I want payback. But they swap and they catch it with their own Machamp, which I must say, that was a well-played situation there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shield up and swap and start building up energy on our Roserade. Go for this Weather Ball here. And they're not going to necessarily be able to farm us down. They're going to have to throw that energy. So we're going to be looking good for when our Machamp comes in. Just take them out. We don't have to worry about them getting off a of charge first. So going in here with the Machamp. Actually, are we going to be able to pull this off here? So getting off one and getting to another one. Is this good to KO? I think this does do enough. Barely here. And the Machamp taking the win. Okay, yeah. Looking good. Fantastic. All right, folks. Into the next battle here. We do have about a 30-minute video. And like I said, we're going to get try to get them out a little bit longer. We'll see. And we're met with a Togekiss. We like this matchup here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that Sludge Bomb. Not too often are people shielding that up. And then when you get to the Weather Ball, they let it go through. They figure it's a lost cause at this point. So they're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to have to let it go. They're going to be coming back in here with that Machamp. We're going to go ahead and go Sludge Bomb. Probably going to get a shield, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to do this anyways. But they're letting it go through, which is great. Putting a lot of chips on the Pokemon that they do have in the back here. We're going to let this go through, of course. And that doesn't KO. They're able to get a little bit of extra farm. We're going to bring in our own Machamp, of course. We don't really want Snorlax to go up against that Machamp. Shield this cross chop just to preserve the health that much more. Farm down. What do we have in the back with two shields? It's going to be a Swamper. Fantastic. We're going to be able to potentially win this more than likely. Getting this cross chop off here, swapping into our Snorlax to start absorbing all of the Hydro Cannons that this thing is going to throw at us. Maybe they might go for a Sludge. Yeah, there it's that Sludge doing a little bit more damage. Hydro Cannon may be a more efficient move to do, but that's okay. Going to go for that Body Slam. And we're looking pretty good. So their health is so low. We're not going to shield anything up. We'll just bring in the Machamp and we'll be able to simply counter down. If, though, never mind, we're able to get off this Body Slam if they decide to shield this up. They do. They want to put up a fight. That's what I like to see. And But we're able to just lick down with the Snorlax. So <laughs> Shadow Snorlax is no joke. That thing will take you by surprise. Into the next battle, we're met by a Shadow Metagross. Best buddy, let's go. Roserade does not mind this matchup. And we were patient. We didn't throw. They're swapping into Gyarados. So good thing we didn't waste our energy here. This matchup is good for us as well with that Dragon Breath. It's good okay with the Waterfall as well, but I prefer the Dragon Breath with the Snorlax here. Going for our Body Slam, bringing them down. We are going to have to use a Shield if we do want to win this matchup here. Obviously, they'll just take us out with the Waterfall. or Aqua Tail and then the uh, Dragon Breaths. So shielding it up. Do they want to Shield in return or do they want to come back and farm our Snorlax down? They do want a Shield. We're not going to be able to get to it, unfortunately. So we're going to have to double down. We're letting it go, though. We don't want to... We don't want to waste two shields quite yet. We need that protection. So again, we're going to do that Machamp thing. Go ahead and go in here and farm down. Hopefully they don't. Fantastic. Nothing was thrown at us here. So we are loaded up on energy with this very strong Machamp. They're going to be bringing in Swampert, which is great. We're going to go ahead and go for that cross job just to start adding up that damage and getting off another one here. And then I do believe I want to swap right as we get this off into Roserade if we can. Oh, we tried, but they were able to get to a charge move, unfortunately, before we were able to do that. We're letting it... That was a visual glitch, just to let you know. That was actually a visual glitch. I thought they didn't tap it for some reason. But the Machamp's health is low, if you can see on the side after we're done getting off these charge moves. And the Metagross is just taking a bunch of these Weather Balls here. We're getting that shield. And we are absolutely going to shield this up ourselves, too. And get off this other Weather Ball. So we had a bunch of energy stored up, so we're looking great here. Not quite able to KO, but we're able to get there. I, there's no way we were going to farm. I mean, would have been, sounded nice, but it was not going to happen. In comes that Swampert. They're going to be forced to throw. Otherwise, we would have taken them down with quick moves here. The champ should be able to come in here and, whew, taking the win with a couple of counters. Let's keep it going here, folks. Into the next battle, we're going to be met with a Excadrill again. What do you know? So many people are leading with this. It's not a bad Pokemon at all. Since it does have that new quick move, it's able to spam its charge moves so much faster. And it does hit very hard. So they're going to be swapping into a Dragonite. So it's a good thing we did not throw that Weather Ball. Going to go ahead and go with the Sludge. 
getting no shield fantastic gonna go ahead and swap right into our snorlax since that health is down so low we're gonna be looking great but the opponent is gonna probably be more obligated to go for hurricane or let it go through huh yeah that's this battle okay very curious so they're coming back in here with the excajil shield letting that go in comes a gyarados and i wouldn't expect them to shield now nah, because it's not gonna really do much damage yeah, don't don't shield that. Uh, we do have a Roserade and I'm a champ. So we are down a shield, but I mean, I don't see us losing this here. Uh, anyways, looks good. So they're going for the crunch and we're going to go ahead and just go for that Wither Ball. They have two shields. Uh, they, they probably want to start shielding that up. Hey, we're getting one, baiting it very nice. And we're going to absolutely let this go down. And it's time for Machamp to just do his thing. Going to go ahead and go in here. Waterfalls are doing a lot of damage. But we're going to be able to, let's see, if we can get the shield with the cross chop. All right, simple. Now we're just going to simply go for it again. Yeah, we don't need to go for a rock slide. I don't think it's going to KO completely. Or it does, does. Okay, never mind. It was just enough to take it out. Fantastic. Looking good. And I'll show you my score now. So I say probably a couple more days and we should be able to hit legend. Um, like I said, could have done it, but then we had a bunch of bad sets and it, we just plummeted, but we were just a couple away. So we're going to go ahead and catch this little Firefox here, throwing horrible throws. All right. All right. Let's just get that thing over with here. And we're sitting at uh, 28, 10 now. All right. So yeah, we, we had a, a horrible sets, like I said. So in with the next battle here, met with another Gyarados. And this was all I was seeing after I started putting a champ on my team. It was so annoying. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go with the Sludge Bomb here. Roserade is okay. I mean, it does better with um, Grass Knot. But then if you have Grass Knot, you're completely vulnerable up against the Dragonite. Um, but yeah, so we're farming a bit here. They're going to be swapping into their own Roserade. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go Rock Slide here. And they shield up. Very nice. Nice shield. We're going to go for another one because uh, at this point, whatever. We can get both shields. That's great. We're getting it through fantastic. And I don't remember. Do I shield this? No, we're letting it go through. Weather Ball. And they're farming. All right. So we're going to go in with the Snorlax because the damage is so quick. They're not even able to react if they had a charge move. Going in with the Excadrill here. And we're going to let this go through. Snorlax can absorb what it does throw at us. No problem. Although it does do a lot of damage, we're going to go straight for the superpower because we are in a good position to do so. They're shielding it up. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and swap here. And we were trying to get out that weather ball. we got to be careful. They might swap out if their clock is up. Yep. And they're going in there and we're going for the sludge bomb. So I think we're looking pretty good at this point. I think weather ball would have been okay as well. It wouldn't have KO'd, but a couple of more bullet seeds would have taken it out. But I didn't want to get off a charge move. That was the whole point. Excadrill coming in, and they're able to get off a charge, but the Machamp is going to be able to finish it off here. Rock Slide and... Or Snorlax in the back, my bad, with the lick. Machamp is already down. Anyways, into the next battle here. And we're met with an Excadrill again. Let's go. All right. It's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a fine lead. I'm going to tell you Roserade lead, guys. Straight up is one of the best in the Ultra Premiere. Just, just as it is. You, you have to have Weather Ball, okay? That's a given. And probably Bullet Seed, okay? You, you, Ro Razor Leaf is strong, but it's not what you need. Not saying it wouldn't work. So they're swapping into a very nice Shadow Gyarados. And we have Shadow Gyarados versus Shadow Snorlax Totoro. <laughs> Let's get it. And we're going for a Body Slam. They're shielding it up. Gyarados is already squishy as it is. And since I let the first one go through, if they shielded this up, now they're in a great position. That's why I fear doing that, but uh, it's okay. Bringing them pretty low, and they do have a good amount of energy, which will hit both of our Pokemon pretty hard, so we need to look out here. So going to go ahead and bring in the Shadow Machamp, which is also taking more damage. We're going to shield this up, but I have a feeling they're about to get off another one here. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're going to let this go through because we do not want to waste both shields on that right away. Should be able to... Mm, let's see if we can maybe make a comeback here. Metagross. Uh, 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 let's see. All right, where's our payback now, now that we need it? No, of course we don't have it. So going to go for another uh, cross chop here. And then I think we want to swap. Oh, they swap and we go into our Roserade here, getting this off. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to get bullet punched down, to be honest with you. And, oh my gosh, yeah, they win that battle. So close, almost there. Good game into the next one here. We're going to be met with a Machamp. 
So I, I like this, and since it's not a shadow, that's even better. They're swapping into Gyarados, and I don't want to say Gyarados is the weak link, you know, to, to get my team, but it sure is annoying. It sure is annoying because I took off Togekiss. When I do have Togekiss, oh, no problem, bring in that Gyarados. All right, but anyways, we're going to let that uh, Aqua Tail go through, and they have another one because they did build up extra energy, and we're going to go ahead and shield that one up using our first shield. Building extra energy here. We kind of want to make them think that we have two ready to go. So if they shield this up, it'll be pointless. And they're letting it go down. And because Bichamp, it farms us down. Very nice. I think the play here is to go with the Roserade. But I really have to think about what they have in the back. So yes, we're absolutely going to go with this. And we're going to let this cross chop go through. Good call. Rock Slide wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have bring us pretty low. And the counters are doing, you know, some damage. They're really starting to add up. Going to go for another Weather Ball here. And I think we may want to swap after we get this off. And we're not able to swap. They're able to get this going here. And we, okay, this, now the swap happens and they have an Excadrill and they back out. So good game there. The champ just intimidating here. And a lot of times I'm not paying attention to the CP. So if you do see one of those 50s, yep, it's going to be crazy. So we have the Gyarados. They swapped. That made me pretty happy. Uh, maybe they thought that they didn't really want to be in that matchup because of maybe Grass Knot, but I don't have it. They're going into their Shadow Machamp or Shadow Snorlax, and I'm going to be going into my Shadow Machamp. They're going Superpower. There you go. Doing a lot of damage. Holding on to my shields and winning that matchup. That's fantastic here. They're going to be coming in with their Machamp. And now we're going to go ahead and go with that Cross Chop, obviously. And they are going to be shielding it up. And we're going to be going with the Roserade, and I think we're looking pretty good at this point. And we're going to let this go through. Let's see if we call it correctly. Cross shot, beautiful. All right, so getting a little risky here. Going to go for that Sludge Bomb, and this will do a lot of damage. Taking them out, actually. Fantastic. Swapping into our Snorlax as soon as that Gyarados does come into the battle here. And this is, you know, this is a winning matchup for us here. Because we, <laughs> obviously, we've got two shields. We're just going to shield everything and uh, just body slam into oblivion here so yeah guys i'm gonna call it i'm gonna say i don't want to really give you a data when i'll hit the legend ring but we're gonna hit it i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you that we're gonna hit it i mean we messed around this season and there was plenty of time to do so like i've always said it i'm like that kind of person who procrastinates up until the last minute i know how the exact minute it takes me to get to that place and i will sometimes wait <laughs> <laughs> that minute so anyways into the next battle not, that, that's not say you know we've been testing things out that's what we're doing right if we wanted to pick the same this is what i've been using the same team we're doing fine now but i don't need to explain that you guys already know what's up so we're gonna go ahead and let this aqua tail go through with the snorlax locked in here building up i think to almost two body slams i've been contemplating wanting to run skull bash uh very interesting uh we will have no more superpower though so you know Superpower comes in very clutch in some situations, right? That's why I just don't really want to give it up. And I love my Shadow Snorlax. The CP you saw in the beginning is different because uh, it's actually equipped currently during these battles. It's my best buddy and not during uh, the recording. Anyways, they're going to be bringing in that Swampert. We're going to be going for Body Slam. Now, I love this matchup because the quick move on Swampert, it's not doing really anything. And I know I can take all these Hydro Cannons and then... At the very end, we may shield, but more than likely, we'll just let it go down. But before that, we're able to get uh, some good damage. And as you can see, they're going for Sludge Wave, which very nice, I must say. And it's doing more damage uh, than, obviously, than Hydro Cannon. And they snuck that through there. So we're going to swap into our Machamp. That's a GG again. That Shadow Machamp, when they see it, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a level 50. I'm good to go. Anyways, into the next, we're met with a Magnazone. It's about stinking time. I love that lead. They're swapping into a Dragonite, and I don't like that swap. That's another Pokemon that kind of destroys this team, I mean, to some degree. Dragon Breath is just so good. We don't have anything resisting it. No Togekiss, no Metacham, or Metacham, Metagross. Metacham, what the hell am I talking about? Um, but anyways, going to go for a Body Slam here, and we're getting a shield out of him. And this is one of the few times where I actually shield up the second charge move on a Dragonite. I don't really do this, but we're in the position to do so because we can farm down. And we will do that. We are shieldless. We have to be on our toes. What are they going to enter into the battle with? It is going to be that Magnazone. We're going to go straight for the superpower here. We're already low on our health and we want them to take us out as quick as possible, as a matter of fact. Now, I should have just went for it. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, was I trying to go for another superpower? Why? 
and we're getting a shield out of them. They have a you know a good amount of energy there, but we have two Pokemon in the back, so yeah. Gonna go ahead and throw that Roserade in here to absorb that. They're swapping into their Garchomp, and I, at this point, I thought I lost. And then, yeah, yeah, because of that. Yep, Outrage. Uh, no point in going for Sand Doom. Just go straight for it, right? That Shadow's gonna be taking more damage, so they're taking us out. And watch this, Roserade holding its ground, saying, no, we will not lose today, Poke. Do not give up hope. And I said, well, what are you talking about? And I said, oh, that's a sand tomb. And I said, yeah, I told you. And I said, well, wait. And he said, what do you mean, wait, wait? I got this, look, I got this. Are you doubting me, Poke? And I said, hey, you know what? I won't say a word anymore. Go ahead. So let's go. And our bond just became that much stronger. So into the next battle here, we're going to be met with a, you know, another Gyarados. Mm -hmm. It's either Gyarados, Excadrill, Gyarados, Gyarados, Excadrill, that's it. That's pretty much all. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Snorlax after we get off that Sludge Bomb here. And we will let this go through. Yeah, just an Aqua Tail. Not too many people are running Hydro Pump. Absolutely a surprise. Just to let you know, we've been talking about that back in the day. If you are running Hydro Pump after Community Day for Magikarp, you're going to be probably pulling in some crazy wins. Just a, just a little heads up. Because people are expecting Aqua Tail, right? It does take a while to build up, so it's you know, maybe obvious. So they're going down by the Mammal Swine here, which is fine. We have two Pokemon that can handle it and two shields. So we're in an absolute beautiful situation um, until I saw that Gengar. And then I got a little nervous, like, uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know about this one here. So we're going to be getting that Weather Ball through there, letting it go through as well, knowing that they can take it. And the Quick Move is doing barely any damage. And when you're in those positions, it's a very good feeling because you can just keep letting those charge moves go through to some degree. They're going to be shielding that up because it would have taken them out. And we're going to let this go because what, what are we going to do? Nothing. But Champ is going to have a, <laughs> a hard time going up against this, uh, you know, Ghost and Poison type. Both of those resisting uh, fighting types. So this is absolutely horrific. I'm thinking Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, GG Poke, got it. <laughs> Good game. Uh, so into the next one here, we're met with a, another, what I say, Gyarados. Let's go. I, I, was, I was kind of losing my mind. So they swapped here to catch this Sludge Bomb on their Roserade, which... Hey, that works, you know, still going to be doing decent damage. And we're going to go ahead and swap into our Snorlax. And we're letting this grass not go through. Absolutely doing so much damage. Making me want to kind of use it myself. But I don't want to get locked up against a Dragonite or something like that. And it is even actually going to be threatening Gyarados too. So maybe I need to switch it up by now. So we're going to go ahead and go Body Slam and start putting the pressure to that Gyarados here. And this is going to be the last battle, folks. So make sure you do hit that like button. Subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll be bringing you guys more battles as well as the news in Pokemon Go. Making a nice swap into our Roserade for whatever reason here. We want to start building up some energy. Letting this go through. Thought we might be able to catch an Aqua Tail, but nah, not happening today. Going to go ahead and go for that Weather Ball, and we're taking down that Gyarados. They're holding on to two shields, but we have, you know, Shadow Machamp. Let's see this. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Just, just eating right through this thing. We're going to let this first one go through because it's fine. There's no more other Pokemon. And the Quick Move's not taking us out. We will shield this one up now. Just because. Eh, oh, well, just because. Well, we, we want to win. That's why. And we're taking the win with the Machamp there at the end. Very nice. Did I say that was the last battle? Oopsie. That th This is the last battle. And we finally have a good lead here. Well, we had the Magnezone, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Sludge Bomb instantly. And then we'll go for the Weather Ball. Let's see if we get them to shield. Nope, no shield quite yet. Maybe they'll shield this Energy Ball here. They've been starting to do this. Uh, but usually they just let both go through. We're getting the shield out of them. So what's going to happen here is now they're going to force me to use a shield. So we're going to be at a one-to-one -one shield. I'm still going to win this. And they get the boost. So this compels them to want to use the shield again, I do believe. Yeah, so we're getting both shields. We're going to instantly swap. And they they don't want to swap. They got that Charm Boost. So we're able to, you know, lick down, get some damage to going in here with their Gyarados. And we're farming a little bit more. Going to go for the Body Slam. And since shields are down, this is going to be pretty good here. Togekiss is out of the way. Shadow Machamp is going to have a blast in a minute. So we're going to let that go through. Holding on to that last shield. No need to get that off quite yet. Hitting this Body Slam here. 
and they should be able to farm us down. That's perfectly fine. I think we go in with our Roserade and we make them use our energy. Like, better take us out. Don't want to waste that energy. And then we're going to be able to farm with Machamp. What do we have in the back, folks? What is it going to be? And it is a Swampert. So, yeah, you know, it's kind of an obvious me probably win because we do have a shield. But, you know, don't underestimate that thing. Look at it. It already has a Hydro Cannon. So... Technically, we could have been in some trouble, but no, we're looking good. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you up to date. And don't let that algorithm take you by surprise. Take care.